Kollege Mitchell, Sie haben das Wort für zwei Minuten. This is an opportunity for the Sudanese people, both north and south, to concentrate on growing their economies and using the wealth that their oil resources can bring to feed and educate their people. But we must also help and do so without delay. Currently, 80% of Southerners have no access to toilet facilities. One in ten children die before their first birthday. In the poorest parts of the South, less than 1% of children finish primary school. Every year, Sudan exports billions of dollars of oil. If North and South can, give, can arrive at a diplomatic and peaceful solution, and they can, then both parties can use their rich natural resources to haul themselves out of their dreadful poverty, the poverty that plagues their land, with some help from their friends. Of course, the future of both governments will depend on issues such as border demarcations, the sharing of oil revenues and the status of Abyei, the disputed oil-rich border region between North and South. I urge the High Representative and the Commission to encourage rapid diplomatic negotiations between North and South to resolve the remaining issues in as short a time frame as possible, and most importantly, to keep this item high on the European Union's agenda. I look forward to welcoming uh, parliamentarians from both sides in their individual rights representing their states to a future meeting of the Joint Parliamentary Assembly of the ACP countries with this Parliament before too long. It will be an indication that they have arrived at statehood and I think it's something we should, we should encourage sooner rather than later. Thank you, Mr. President. Vielen Dank, Herr Kollege Mitchell. Als nächstes für eine Minute Herr Kollege Milana. Grazie, Presidente. Io non vorrei rompere questo clima di grande felicità. È vero, si è conclusa una fase che è iniziata nel 2005 dove la diplomazia ha consentito che tutto si svolgesse nel migliore dei modi. I nodi aperti però restano ancora.